a lot of people have called me crazy for training three times a day at some points, which I am still doing here in Thailand right now. Such a beautiful place, to be honest. But hey, in this video, I'll be talking about why overtraining is bullshit. Okay, the whole mindset of, oh, I can't do this because I'm overtraining is dog shit. Okay, because you're putting restrictions on what you can do. Back in the Special Forces, we worked out all the time, right? It was running, constant running. Constant walking, push-ups, sit-ups, and like a sit-up variation. This was dumb shit, but we did it all the time. So, work capacity was crazy. Absolutely crazy mental stuff. This was during the like the first half, like hazing period. It was like a half a year of just hazing and dumb shit. Like uh, obstacle courses straight into the freezing water, stuff like that. Push-ups, sit-ups, whatever. Obstacle course. Boom. But anyways, I still keep doing this stuff. I still keep pushing my work capacity to this day. And I learned it. I learned it through like special forces especially. That you're capable so much if your body just gets used to like being in motion all the time, all the time, all the time. Just working, working, working. All the time, doing reps, doing running, doing stuff like that. You get insane. You get First of all, you get an insane body. But also you get like insane mind, okay? Because you can push further, push harder than anyone else. And I tell this to people. I tell this to people I meet that if you're just good at something, if you have a skill, if you're like, let's say someone, let's do sales. Yeah, for example, great example, sales. So, like, they're both are good at sales. Maybe the other guy is better. But it's the guy that doesn't get off the phone, who doesn't give up, who doesn't give a shit, right? He doesn't get tired. He just keeps calling, 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 calling. While the other guy takes breaks, he might be better, but the other guy's going to get more sales just because quantity, quantity, push, 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 all the time work. It's the same with everything. If you just have two Muay Thai fighters, it might, the one, uh, one of them might be better than the other, but if the guy just, he doesn't give up, he, he just keeps the pressure going. He doesn't get tired. Work capacity. Work capacity is the greatest thing that you're training for. It's absolute number one. Work capacity. The ability to go further, go harder than anyone. That's how you beat competition. And you can't do that with the mentality that you're overdoing something, that you're overtraining and doing this too much. There's no such thing. You have to just get rid of that mindset. Get rid of it. You have to stay, okay, I need more. I'm lazy. I need more. I'm lazy. I need to do more work. I need to do more. But let's bring it back to the workout thing. All right. So how do I train two, three times a day? I don't think I've done four yet. Like I'm being honest here. Because this is this isn't like this isn't pussy shit. This isn't like workouts where, you know, you're not doing much, you're just calling it a workout. This is intense stuff. Back in like for the last year in the military, from the last August to this July, basically, it's been intervals to weights after work, like after my duty is done, and then on the in the evenings it was jujitsu, and most of the most of the days it was just like that intervals or some type of running long 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 distance usually too. I did abs in the morning. That was a little bit calmer, so I, maybe that count doesn't even count. Just abs, and some other stuff. So that maybe was two times a day. And then weights, weight session was always good. Wow. Just blasting those weights. Weights always push, always push on the weights. And then jujitsu in the evening. So a new jujitsu for anyone who does jujitsu, really recommend it. It's grueling. If you just put your mindset to it, a lot of static uh, muscles that need to work. I did leg days before jujitsu, which was insane. Because I, and I, I would go, I did legs and abs actually. And I'd go to jujitsu with like the boys from the military. And with the jujitsu movement, when you like lay in guard, for anyone who knows that, you like keep your feet up and you have to use like a lot of your abs. I was totally spent, but I went, to, went there anyways, okay? I didn't give a shit. My legs were fucking, they were like destroyed. My abs were destroyed. I still went to jujitsu. Because I don't give a shit. Work capacity. That's what it's all about. So let's put up a routine that you can follow. Start off mornings, if you can, before work, you should do running. Okay, running is nice. You get that movement. This is nice to wake the brain up. No coffee first thing. You can if you're running, but just go out there, run. Run a bit. You know, 
intervals, long distance. You can get good long distance in 45 minutes, 30 minutes. You can get, you just push, you know. You just got to run, run a bit faster. Then you get more distance. All right? That's a good trick for everyone. If you want to just get running uh, done, like, more quickly, you can just run faster. Huh? It's a bit of a cheat code right there. Why not? But no one ever th thought of that, right? After work, you do weights. Go in there. One hour, boom. Pump that weights. Boom. Done. That's your second workout. Third workout, you should do fighting or fight gym or something. But you could do swimming. I've done swimming too. Uh, swimming is great. Especially if you do like back workouts before you go swimming. Your lats are fried after swimming. So, you know, you could do like intervals in the pool too. That's good. If you're bad at swimming, you can do intervals. It's easier to like keep the form good. You just practice that. Swimming, by the way, is essential. It's an essential skill. If you don't know how to swim properly, like crawling, you have a problem, okay? Because crawling is an essential skill. Being able to save yourself or someone you care about from dangerous situations in water, just being comfortable in water in general, is a, it's a necessity. It's uh, undisputable. If you, don't know that, if you don't know that, you have a problem and you need, need to get better in the water immediately. So those are three examples. Do some running, do some weights, do some swimming, do some fighting, whatever. And just plant those out the day. And you can slowly build this up. So you don't have to go do a marathon in the morning, do three uh, eight-hour arm workout, Rich Piana style, after work, and then go swim like, a, in, like an Ironman or something. You don't have to do that. Just You can build this up slowly. We're building more than just our bodies here. We're building work capacity, our capacity to go out there, spend ourselves, go back in, risk, like... Recover quickly, eat, 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 eat a lot, keep our shoulders down, go out there again in the same day, a few hours later. That's how you, you get so hard in the head by this, okay? You get fucking iron mind. It's insane. This plus like the talking to yourself that, okay, this is it, this is it, this is it. You just, you, you level up instantly, instant level up, guys. I'm telling you, try this. You can start with two workouts. You probably, most people right now, they're doing weights. Actually, just doing weights is not enough for anyone. That's for meatheads. Absolute meatheads. You know how little work you're actually doing when you're doing weights? It de of course depends on the workout. But like, let's say you're just doing reps, like five reps. You're not moving that much of your body, really, are you? Just think about it. I think like the standard for like active, being active during a day it's like three hours, like with activity. And usually like weight workouts are like, for me, it's two hours, or one and a half to two hours. You're still not getting enough just working out, like pumping every day. You should do some more. And with this, you can. And with this, you will level up. Food-wise, when it comes to eating, that's really, really, really important too. You have to be able to schedule your meals here. If you, do, if you have to do meal prep because of location, whatever, do meal prep. I didn't when I was in military. We had a mess hall. I ate up the mess hall. They actually increased the price after I uh, came there to that camp. People started joking that it was, it was me increasing the pricing because I ate so much. I would sit there for a whole hour just eating, eating, eating. And uh, people, were just, uh, people were actually like befumbled about the amount of food that I was able to eat. So I was like force feeding myself too, which is really good. Contrary to what anyone would have you believe, it's really good. You have to, like, I, I force fed myself for, I think, I don't know how many years now. Back in the day when I was like waking up at 5.30 a.m. Prepping my meals and stuff. I would eat oatmeal till I puked. Boom. My mom hated me for it. I didn't give a shit. Look at me now. This shit works. So eat a lot. Just eat a lot and just make sure to time those meals. Also sleep. Just make sure it's efficient. I did this on six to eight hours of sleep. Sometimes I did only six hours of sleep. Which is absolute insanity. Guys, I don't actually know how I'm recovering from all this work. To be honest, I don't know. But I think my insane amount of food, heavy cream. Just go check out my video on the on the alpha male gorilla meal I did. Go check that out. That's perfect. A lot of calories in one meal. Some of it liquid, like the heavy cream, which I'm using there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But I don't, in general, I don't even know how I'm recovering from all this work. I must be some superhuman. Who knows? Who knows? I know. I look, about, look at myself in the mirror. I'm kind of like befumbled. What the hell is this guy doing? You know, that's what I'm thinking. What the hell are you doing with yourself? But I'm, uh, you know, I'm really happy with it. I really enjoy the feeling. I actually had this thought yesterday when I was walking out in the street here. 
finding some food. Had some chicken and rice, a local here in Thailand. Really nice. A bit spicy though. But I had this thought that because I was so spent after doing Muay Thai twice and then weights, I was so spent. And the feeling is just so addictive. It's so nice just knowing that you're like feeling your whole body just being like, ah. Uh spent it's so nice guys if you haven't spent yourself that way ever now is the time okay do this do this work out more work out like to your body just like you feel like a, just a bag just a bag of meat walking around oh. that's nice that's fucking addictive guys i'm telling you do this try this like make do more workouts eat more food sleep properly and you'll level up you level up your mindset that's it do this. Take care. God bless you all. Go follow my IG for more. And take care. God bless. God bless.